so today's video is dedicated to all the patrons thank you guys for helping me out supporting me enabling me to keep making videos like this and before i jump into it if you're interested in monthly q a's we're going to do three this month one i'm going to post up here on youtube for free if you're interested in one-on-one -on -one video lessons with me anything like that hit the patreon it's linked in the description also check out my brand collage skateboards this one of our shirts you can get this shirt from club distribution i'll have a link to our part of the club distribution website where you can pick up this shirt our decks and other things like that but also i'm gonna have linked below some of our other collage graphic designs that you can get straight here from YouTube. Today we're going to talk about nose grinds, front side and back side nose grinds. We're going to get a little bit into popping out of those nose slides, like popping out before the edge, but we're also going to talk a lot about just how to set up the trick. So the first thing I want to get out of the way is before you're trying to do nose grinds, whether front side or back side, anything like that, I recommend that you're already able to 50-50. And on top of the 50, I, I think you should be able to 50-50 basically at will. Like it shouldn't be a struggle for you to 50-50 on whatever you're gonna attempt the nose grind on, whether it's a curb or whether it's a ledge that's a foot high, 18 inches high, you should be able to 50-50 it pretty much on command, barring, you know, getting in and sticking or missing your pop, you shouldn't have trouble landing a 50-50. Uh, you should also, in my opinion, be able to do nose manuals and you should be able to do your nose manual and hold it comfortably. Uh, so if you can't do those things, then learn how to do them, get the reps in and then come back. So one thing that, I, that I'll say when you first start trying nose grinds is, what helped me was before trying the nose grind, I found something that was about this wide and what it was is it was one of the LA benches. So here in LA we have our famous schoolyards at People Skate and on those schoolyards you have the tan, sometimes like a baby blue colored Tate lunch tables, sometimes they're red even, and you also have benches. And I learned to do front side and back side nose grinds both on those benches. But what I had to do to get myself comfortable enough was the bench is about this wide. So instead of rolling parallel to the bench, I would roll directly at it and I would ollie and I would just kind of bonk my nose across it. And this gave me the confidence once I could do this consistently to go and try the front side nose grinds first and to do them just on the edge of the bench. So I'm talking a little six inch grind, just kiss the edge. And I recommend that everybody does this first. So make sure that you got your man, your nose manuals comfortable. Go for that nose bonk. And then when you're comfortable with that, start to ollie over and place your truck onto the edge of the bench. Or you might not have a bench, it might be a ledge, whatever you're trying. Now, the thing about this is, it's really important that we are able to control our ollie. And what I mean when I say control our ollie is you're not ollieing so high that when you land on your nose, you're just going to stick and fall over. So it's not like we're going to ollie and nose dive into our nose grind. What we're really doing is we're popping an ollie, we're kind of leveling out, and then we're just slightly pushing our nose and the truck down onto the edge and onto the obstacle. And we want so let's say we're doing a front side nose grind. We want to get well over the ledge. We want the wheel that's on our heel side edge closest to the nose to be touching the outside of the ledge. And the opposite is true for the backside nose grind. We want to get on solid. We want the entire truck to make connection. So we want, if we're doing a backside nose grind, the toe side wheel that's closest to our nose, we want that to be on the outside of the ledge. And the reason for this is it's gonna give us the most connection for that grind. Now, when you get into this grind, it's important that your knees are nice and bent, you keep your arms up, and what's gonna happen in the beginning is you're gonna be scared to roll off, even if you've done the nose bonk thing that I told you about. And so you're gonna to have to get really, really comfortable with the grind. Make sure that the edge is really waxed so that you're not, uh, in, uh, encountering too much friction that's stopping you from grinding. And eventually you're gonna to start to try to commit. And when you first start to try to commit, what's gonna happen is 
when you grind off the edge, your back wheel is going to hit your back truck or your back wheels or your tail. They're going to hit that ledge. So what you really want to do is get comfortable pushing down into that position so that you're not leaning forward and you're not leaning backwards once your front truck comes off of the ledge. And this is going to take some time, right? Because it takes control. But what I recommend for the control is you're going to want to kind of tense up your core and your biceps and your quads once you make contact with your, with your front truck on the ledge. And then you're going to want to hold that. And when you feel that you're coming off, you're going to want to give it a little bit of push forward. And that's going to help you with the clearance. Kind of like if you were to try to like nose bonk a crack and pop over it that type of motion and that's really gonna help you out so once you're comfortable with grinding just the edge of a ledge right the next thing you're gonna want to do is you're gonna want to grind longer and how do we grind longer so some of you guys might be familiar with the video where I taught how to 5 -0. and you might remember that I taught you to start from still basically find a little curb find a place where you can stay still next to the curb ollie on land in the 5-0 and then you can just try to hold that for as long as you can and pop off. Well, the same is gonna be true for the nose grind. When I wanted to learn how to hold a nose grind, I found a curb, I ollied onto that curb, landed in the nose grind position, and just simply held in that position without letting my nose touch, right? Now, in the beginning, I wasn't able to pop off. So what I did instead of trying to pop off is I would just turn my body and kind of turn off the way you would if you were doing your nose grind and fakie. But the most important thing was that I was ollieing onto that curb and just learning how to hold basically like a nose manual with my truck on the edge. And the more you do this, the more comfortable you get. So once you're comfortable getting on and holding, then you're going to want to try to do this rolling. And you're just going to want to grind incrementally longer than you grinded the last time. And you're going to keep that tight core, tight quads, tense biceps. You're also gonna use your arms to help you balance, right? Because balancing a grind, balancing a manual, it's not like we're actually staying still. We're making little micro movements that help us stay balanced the entire time. So now you're gonna wanna do this to the edge of the ledge, all the way to the end at first. And if you paid attention to what I said in the beginning about how you're not going to clear the edge of the ledge with your short nose grinds at first. So you're going to want to learn how to kind of give it a little nudge once your wheels are about, once your front truck's about to come off the edge of the ledge. The same is true for this. And if you did it with your short nose grinds, it'll be easy with the long nose grinds. And you'll be able to give it a little nudge out at the end because when we do longer nose grinds, mostly, most of the time, by the time we're at the edge of the ledge, we've lost a lot of our speed and you can't come off without giving it that little nudge. And that little nudge is also a precursor to the last type of nose grind that we're going to talk about, which is where you're popping off in the center of the ledge. And that's the one that so many people want to do. That's one of my favorite things to do. And a funny story about that. I used to skate with a guy named Mark, Mike Arce. He had a Sony Hi8 camera. He filmed a lot of my first clips. And, you know, P-Rod, I think in like his city stars video park i think the video street cinema i think he did one of those nose grinds and popped out early and i i had watched the video but it wasn't something i ever thought about too much like as any different and my friend mike was like can you pop out in the middle of the ledge with a nose grind and i didn't know what he meant at first i was like what are you talking about and then he kind of showed me with his board and the first time i tried it i was able to do it until this day, it's remained one of those tricks that it's kind of like a go-to for me. I'll do it a lot in the skate park. It's usually first try. And I found that the reason that I'm able to do these is because of what I just told you guys about. How when I'm holding the nose grind, once I got to the edge, I would kind of nudge myself forward to come off. Well, popping off in the middle of the ledge requires the same motion. The only difference is that when I'm going to pop out of the ledge, I start turning my shoulder out of the ledge first. And this is my back shoulder because I'm goofy footed. So my left shoulder will come out first as I'm bending down. And then once my shoulder is out, I will give it a little nudge forward, give the board a nudge forward with my front foot, and then bring my right shoulder to where my left shoulder is out in front of the ledge. 
and then I'll stay tucked to land. And that's pretty much the, the, the trick to popping out earlier. Uh, I'll say that popping out early is easier backside than it is frontside, at least for me. But I am able to do both of them. And uh, the frontside one just feels a little weird. And I think it's because the board's going behind you instead of in front of you where you can see it. You have like a perspective of what's going on in front of you. So that's pretty much what I have for nose grinds. If you guys have any further questions, ask me down in the comments section. I know some of you guys are gonna wanna learn how to flip out of nose grinds and stuff like that. And the reason I'm not putting that in this video is A, because it would make it too long, and B, because even though it is a more of an expert level trick, more of a, I'd say intermediate level trick, and those don't seem to be in demand, if enough of you guys ask me to make a video about flipping out of nose grinds in the comments, then I will. But yeah, ask me your questions below. Don't forget to check out Collage Skateboards. I don't know, some of you guys might like this freaky bondage koala shirt that we got. It's available through Club. We have a bunch of other designs available through Club and designs available that I will have below here by the time this video is up. Thank you for watching. Get out there and skate. It's like 97 degrees in LA today and it's gonna be even hotter this week. I had a student have to cancel their lesson on Thursday because it's gonna be 105 and the parent was just like, I can't have them skate in their gear like that. So you guys are out skating in the heat. Take care of yourselves, hydrate. Thank you for watching.